Google's Eric Schmidt takes a stab at iOS with his ultimate guide to switch to Android. Apple's 2014 lineup is hinting a larger, more professional iPad. And believe it or not, they're already talking about the LG G Flex sequel. I'm Jaime Rivera, and as much as I try to love Mondays, there is just no way for me to budge. But this is Pocket Now Daily. Yesterday off with some official and not official news as we've got the HTC One Golden Edition being announced and not the gold phone that we talked about recently. There's actually a golden aluminum HTC One, which we wonder why they're announcing now when they're supposed to have their sequel coming up very soon. And speaking of their sequel, we've already got some leaked specifications of the HTC codename M8. If you remember the HTC One was the M7. So obviously we are expecting this to be their next flagship and it's got a Snapdragon 800 processor so it should be that way if you want the full specifications linked down below. Now let's talk about Apple as we've got some more leaks of their 2014 lineup and we are hinting two things. Number one is a bigger, more professional iPad, which apparently will be getting by March, though we still don't know if this tablet will still be running their phone operating system or if they're going to take the leap of making this device run OS X. It's going to be kind of a hard-fetched uh, rumor here. We still don't know what to expect, but other than that, we are expecting the iWatch, which is now being heard again, though apparently we will be getting this device at WWDC in June, which kind of makes sense since obviously we're getting a new version of iOS running this watch, apparently. We'll see where that goes. And for those of you dreaming of Windows 8 merging with Windows RT as we were expecting with 8.1, well, a Microsoft executive just shot that down. Her name is Julie Larson Green, and according to her, there is a market for underpowered tablets, which we know about that. I mean, we've got the Android tablets and iPad to prove that, but still, you gotta wonder why the Surface 2 and Surface did not sell at all. Let's see how that goes. And for those of you interested in the LG G Flex, which we're already working on, it's kind of interesting. It seems that the company's already working on their sequel, even though they haven't really launched the first phone. And apparently what this phone will do is actually bend 90 degrees, thanks to their bendable, foldable battery technology. I just don't understand what the usage scenario would be for me to be able to fold the phone and actually do it for any particular reason. Uh, links in the description for details and leave us a comment. Why would you want to bend your phone? Uh. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, Google's Eric Schmidt has just decided to take a stab at Apple with their iPhone, which is interesting since he was a member of the board when the first generation iPhone was announced. And as it turns out, he says that a lot of his friends are switching from iPhones to Android with the new devices coming out, and he feels that he should tell people how to switch seamlessly, which is great. It's fabulous. Uh, but that leads me to the question of the day. Um, out of your friends, how many of them have been switching from iPhones to Android devices? Because in my particular case, it's actually been the other way around. Most of my friends actually started either with a Blackberry or a Galaxy phone, and they're now switching to iPhones after the 5S. Yeah, I don't understand it either, but leave us a comment down below. What's your case scenario? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.